I found this TV table that's kind of in rough shape. I need to clean it up and sand down any of these rough edges and get a little bit of the shine off there so I can paint it. I'm also using this kind of outdated nightstand. I'm just gonna use one of the drawers. I'll first need to take off the handle and the metal hardware on the side. I'm gonna clean it up and get any of the residue off of it, sand it down a little bit and get it ready for paint. I'm painting the folding table a soft gray with a matte finish. This is gonna take a couple coats, so I'm just going to do a light coat for now and then I'll come back and do another light coat. I'm giving the handle, which is kind of this mixture of wood and metal, a nice coat of a metallic bronze color. For the drawer, I am adding a white chalk paint. Because I am adding a light color over a dark color, this is gonna take a couple of coats. Again, just using a really light coat, letting it dry for about 20 minutes, and then coming back and adding more coats until I have the coverage that I want. This is going to be an indoor plant stand for me, so there's no need to seal or protect any of these painted pieces. So I'm gonna place the drawer right on top of the folding TV stand, and I do need to secure it. This drawer actually slips really nicely right on top of that uh, top of the TV stand, so I'm just gonna use some wood glue to adhere it. If you're making one of these at home, you may want to add some screws in depending on how the drawer fits on top of the stand. Now it is ready for plants. So the first thing I'm going to do here is take a thick plastic bag and I'm going to cut it down to size. This is going to line the bottom of the drawer. I want to be able to water my plants and if any of that water comes out the bottom, it's not going to damage the wood in the drawer. And then the nice metallic hardware adds back on with just the two screws. Now it's time to add some plants. This is the fun part. I've gathered up a number of plants from around my house that are going to look really good together. This is a pretty deep drawer and so I'm using some pieces that'll add some height so I can put some larger plants in the back and some smaller ones in the front. That was a really simple and straightforward project making a plant stand out of some thrifted furniture. I hope this inspired you to make one for your home. Grab an old drawer and let's get started. Start by cutting four spindles to the size you want for the center legs. Make sure to save the pieces you cut off. Next, attach the spindles using a brad nailer to each corner of the bottom of the drawer. Then, cut a piece of wood the same dimension as the drawer. Lay it on top of the spindles and measure to make sure each spindle is attached in the same way all the way around. Attach using the brad nailer. Next, measure and mark and attach the feet using the pieces of the spindles you cut off previously. Attach these at a diagonal all the way around each foot using the brad nailer. After that, mark the center of each foot and attach a wheel. Then remove the hardware from the drawer. Next, clean it with TSP. Then sand all of it smooth, rubbing off the dust with a cloth. After that, prime and paint a color of your choosing. You can also do this step before assembly depending on preference. Reattach the hardware and that's it! This adorable little bar cart is such a perfect accent to any room. It can be totally customized to fit any space. I visited our local Habitat for Humanity Restore, where I found mismatched drawers and doors. Your first step is to remove all the hardware. Next, fill in the holes with wood putty. After that, give the whole drawer a good sanding. Now measure the insides of the drawer so you know how wide to cut your shelves. After your shelves are cut, drill pocket holes on the undersides of the shelves. Attach the shelves with pocket holes on the bottom. I also picked up some furniture feet from the hardware store. Screw the plates into the bottom of the drawer and then insert the feet. After the feet are attached, it's time for paint. Use the color of choice here. You could really get creative depending on your home style. This shelf worked perfectly to store craft supplies in my office and it also looked great as a side table in the living room. So once we removed our knobs, I'm just gonna mark up where I'm gonna make my cut. What I'm using here is just some decoupage. So I did one thin layer there and then I'm gonna place my paper down. Another layer of decoupage over top of our paper. And you just wanna smooth out any air bubbles. So the next thing we're gonna do is I have this other pattern. So same thing, these are gonna go on either side. I'm just gonna put down our layer of decoupage here. I can bring up my paper here, line it up, and then um, use the decoupage to smooth out that wrinkle. And so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side here. So I have a little bit of antiquing wax and I get some on my cloth rub it on the surface where I want to apply it. Take a different area of the cloth and then I'm gonna just rub it in. I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper and you can add as many layers of wax as you want. So I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of antiquing wax um, to these knobs as well. Put my knobs back on. 
So I have these old table leg feet. What I've done is I've just taken a drill and I have just pre-drilled four holes in the corners so that I could slide the bolt of the leg through. And then we're gonna flip our drawer over. And then to secure them, you just use either some bolts or I have the actual pieces that um, came with these feet. All you have to do is style it the way you want. So you can put pillow throws, whatever you like. Feel free to really get creative with this project and make it your own. 